Hi folks, this is a quick video on my kayak trailer build. I picked up this old farm utility trailer about a year ago in Austin. Didn't have fenders on it, had old truck tires on it. Anyhow, I'm going to show you how I built uh, this trailer for my two kayaks. I've got a 2012 Hobie uh, Pro Angler 14 and a 2008 Revolution 13 foot. Here I'm making the uh, cross members out of deck board and Schedule 40 pipe and brackets and a bushing that's slightly larger. I think that's inch and a quarter schedule 40 pipe so that uh, those uh, cross members will, uh, will rotate and uh, um, basically pivot. Here I'm uh, drilling out uh, zert fitting so I can grease it. I welded uh, um, tangs or ears so that I can attach it to the trailer. I use these um, quarter 20 uh, special uh, automotive bolts with the captive uh, washer and then I used uh, weld nuts on the bottom side of that frame welded a quarter 20 nut so I could screw it in there and made the hole in the uh, uh, bushing uh, a little bit larger so it lines up easy when you bring that uh, front end back down when you tilt it back here I'm uh, making the bunks these are uh, two and a half inch for the PA I went with two inch for the uh, revolution I slotted it out so that those bunks will actually shift some and uh, naturally allow a little bit of sag in the middle so it's not a rigid board like uh, setup um, uh, on the uh, kayaks. It's about 78 inches on center uh, for those cross members. Uh, I think uh, Hobie recommends 76. Uh, <clears throat> I went with 78. Here I show a smaller PVC uh, slid into the two and a half. Uh, it's not the neck size down that's a tight fit because it'll it won't slide through with the uh, stainless uh, heads of the uh, Phillips bolt head. So it's one, one size lower than that. I think it's an inch and a quarter. And it slides in just fine. It goes past the bolts. Um, here I'm uh, finishing up the trailer with some uh, fender work, some side runner boards and stuff, some hardware for straps. Here I have the uh, kayaks on the bunks uh, with the, uh, uh, the front unbolted and then lifted and propped with propped propped up with um, a deck board and then uh, showing how I think this will slide down into the water at a launch ramp that's the that's the idea anyway um, here's just a uh, rebuild of my Mirage uh, Mirage Drive uh, with the GT hardware the GT drums sprocket idler pulley here's the final uh, final build out um, two kayaks fully ready to go all all things updated on it. That's a uh, old folks walker um, that I made a H bar out of. Someone has a tutorial on how to do that, so I did that. Uh, there's a seat mod that I uh, that I'm using as well, three and a half inch. I forgot the person's idea that was, but I did the little tray that slides out. Those are 3D printed parts from uh, my son's friend, um, the uh, clamps and stuff. And then I put lumbar on the back of the seat. You'll see there that's a little lumbar piece. Anyway, uh, there that's Schedule 80, so that's uh, that's tough stuff there. Uh, there's the uh, uh, the foot there on the end that should be a little underwater, and uh, it slid out there. There's the Revo there to the left. It's all ready to go. New seat, Surf to Summit Expedition seat, really nice seat. It's all ready to go. Mirage drives rebuilt on it as well. It's a V2. Uh, everything's ready to go. There you see the support board. It's a 2x4, pressure treated with a hole through it, uh, rounded over on the top. You'll see how that works here. So here my son and I are going to demonstrate. We take the hardware out uh, from the frame where the bushing is that I talked about earlier, and you slide that board over, kick it up forward like that, and then on the count of three, one, two, three, and everyone lifts, and you just prop that up. Now the uh, boats are ready to slide off. Now the back is uh, what's holding. Uh, there's, a, there's a rope to the back handle bar attached to the trailer. You release that rope. Now things will start to slide down. I'll figure out a way to get that done uh, more efficiently. And uh, maybe from the front of the uh, trailer, I'll be able to uh, tie it off. Anyway, it's a little butt puckering here. You can kind of tell I'm directing my son to be careful here those fittings are not glued yet um, I don't want them to set up yet uh, I want to actually do a field test at a launch ramp to see if it's at the right height but that cross piece is going to help keeping help 
uh, keep the uh, bunks, the extended bunks from spreading apart. Um, and I have it as high as I could possibly with about uh, two inches of clearance from the, from the keel. And the lower portion might come up, uh, might be a little too short. I'm not sure yet. Again, like I said, we're going to do a field test. Now he's going to get behind it and uh, keep it from sliding off. I'm going to pick up the camera and show what it looks like from the side. And uh, I think this will work. This will slide right off into the water. And then uh, when you come back, you're going to do the same thing in reverse, bringing the boat up. Now I also have an electric winch. Um, there's the underside there with the bunks, the extended bunks. I have an electric winch I could uh, attach to the top of my vehicle. And uh, it has a remote. And that might be something I, I use and just press the button on the remote and winch it up. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that yet. Um, here we are pushing it back up on the uh, main bunks. And then when you lower it down, uh, it lines up fairly well. If it doesn't, you shift it a bit with the holes larger on the bushing uh, ears that I have. Um, uh, you can get the, uh, the bolts to uh, hand thread in there just fine. Here I show it retracted. It's, it's back up into the main bunks, the extended bunk portion. And I'm going to pin it um, uh, with a lock pin right there on one side, just like I did here on the... Uh, tailgate thing to uh, keep that from falling down any further. Finally, the whole purpose behind this chassis build uh, that bolts on top of the frame of the utility trailer is just that, so I can remove it. I can bring that whole chassis into the garage, set it on the floor, put the kayaks on top of that, and now I have my utility trailer to use it for moving appliances, furniture, bringing in mulch, whatever I need to use it for. So that was the whole idea behind making that upper chassis removable. Anyway, I hope this has inspired some ideas on uh, future uh, kayak trailer builds. I'm really looking forward to putting this to the test. I hope it works out. Thank you all for watching. Good night.